Team and Ravi had $6,894 altogether. Then they said that Team gave 20% of his money to Ravi. Ravi then spent 40% of his money. So it's 40% of his original sum plus 40% of the 20% that Team gave to Ravi. Then they said that they had $5,518 left in the end. How much money did Ravi have at first? Let's go ahead and draw the model for this one. So this one is actually a before and after, right? So before they had this amount. After Tim gave 20% to Ravi, after which Ravi spent 40% of his new amount of money, they had this amount left. So it's a before and after, right? Okay. So I will um, draw a model because we have no idea how much they have altogether, which means that I do not know who has more or who have less. So I'm just going to put Tim. I'm just going to draw a model over here. Okay. I'm going to put this as a 20%. That he gave to Ravi. So Ravi, I do not know how much, maybe more, maybe less, doesn't really matter what I'm doing this. I'm just gonna put this is the 20% that was given. And out of the 20%, he spent, I'm gonna extract this out. Uh. They said that Ravi spent 40% of his money, which is 40% of this amount that was given to him by Tim, as well as the 40% that he had originally. So I'm going to put over here, this will be 40% spent and here will be the 40% spent. And the total that they have originally is $6894. Okay, so they said that they had this amount of money left in the end. Okay, so using this model, we have to try to figure it out, this question. This question is trickier than it looks. Huh? So I mentioned to you that Ravi spent 40% of his money, right? Which is 40% of his original. So I'm going to put here, this is the original. So he spent 40% of his original as well as 40% of what he has gotten from Tim. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this 40% of this 20% first. Okay, so I'm going to put 40% of the 20% is 40% multiplied by 20%. Okay, just throw in a calculator. I can teach you a shorter method. 20% what we know, right, is actually 20 over 100. 20 over 100 is actually 1 fifth. So 40% multiplied by 1 fifth is as good as 40% divided by 5, which means that this one is 8%. Okay, so we know that, let's, let's find out how much he spent. After spending, they have this much. This is the difference. They have this much left and this is the original. So I'm gonna find out how much he spent altogether. So I'm going to put amount spent by Ravi, arrow 6894 minus 5518. Okay. So I'm going to do the long working over here, 6894, 6894 minus 5518. Okay, these are borrow 1, 14 minus 8 will be 6, 8 minus 1 will be 7, 8 minus 5 will be 3, 6 minus 5 will be 1, 1, 3, 7, 6. So Ravi spent $1376. And this $1376 is represented by 40% of Ravi, I'm going to put R, plus 8% of Tim is $1376. I'm talking about the original amount. Okay. So right now, I want to find out 100% of either one of them. Okay, to make it easier, now I'm going to convert R. This entire working, I'm going to convert into something else. So what we got, what I'm going to do here, right, is actually what we call logic reasoning. Logic reasoning is another method that you can use. If 40% of Ravi plus 8% of team is this, how about right now I want 20% of Ravi plus 4% of team? It's just half, right? Which means that this one will be half as well. So this will be 1376 divided by 2. So 1, 3, okay, I have no more space over here, so I'm just going to write it over here. 1, 3, 7, 6 divided by 2, this will be 6, 12, 13 minus 12 will be 1, 17, this will be 8, 16, 17 minus 16 will be 1, 16, 8, 16, 0, which means that it's 6, 8, 8. So this will be 6, 8, 8 dollars. 20% of Ravi and 4% of team equals to 688 dollars. Now, I want to find 100% of Ravi. 100% of Ravi plus multiply by 5, multiply by 5, this will be 20% of team. This will be, okay, see, it's just multiply by 5, right? Multiply by 5. 
So this one similarly will be multiplied by 5 as well. So it's 688 multiplied by 5. So I'm going to put here 688 multiplied by 5. 8 times 5, 40. 8 times 5, 40, 44. 5 times 6, 30, 34. So this will be $3,440. Why do I actually want to do this? Because originally they told us that Tim and Ravi had this amount. <coughs> Sorry. From this, if I want to write down in working form, right, it means that 100% of Ravi plus 100% of Tim is equivalent to the original given 6894, which is this. Now that I found out 100% of Ravi plus 20% of Tim is $3,440, I can just take this and minus this and find 80% of Tim. So I'm going to put here 80% of Tim will be this minus this, which is 6894 minus 3440. So I'm going to put over here 6894 minus 3440. So this will be 3454. Alright, this is 3454. Four. So I'm gonna find 100% of team now that I have 80%. I just take 3454 four, divide by 80, multiply by 100. Okay, so all this, too much working, I'm just gonna use my calculator and you all can do the same as well. So as to save time, uh, don't you spend too much time on the video as well. Now this will be 3454 four, divided by 80 times 100, giving me. 4317.50 So team has 4317.50 Which means that the question asking for how much money did Ravi have at first will be the total amount Which is this minus this Okay, so 100% of Ravi will be 6894 minus 4317.5 And give a, this will give us what? Okay, so this will give us 6894 Two five seven six point five zero. Two five seven six point five zero. This is actually how you do it. So whatever that we're doing over here, they're all just called logic sequence. So logic sequence over here is actually followed by the model. Is for uh is preceded by the model. Okay. So the model itself will teach you how to do this logic sequence. The logic sequence is actually a very very useful tool that I'm not sure whether your teacher taught you in school, but this is actually one of the fantastic methods. Okay, I hope this is helpful for you.